Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. So today we actually have to run over to Jason's. He's having an issue with his Jeep Wrangler and maybe you guys can help us figure it out. Let's take a look at it. All right, here we are, we made it to Jason's. So this is actually kind of a common issue with some of these older Wranglers. He's getting that old leak from his dash somewhere. It's starting to fill up his floorboards. We did the uh, typical check your cowl vent. I have a video that I did on that. I'll link it up here and in the description below. And sometimes what happens is that cowl vent fills up and it overflows into the back of your dash and just kind of floods your floorboards. So that's one thing to check. We have already checked that on this Jeep. Uh, we're going to run a hose in the cowl vent just to double check it, but uh, then we're going to look around the window seals, a few other places just to try to figure out where this thing is leaking from. So let's get started. I do have video of it. Remember it was just leaking from like right here. What? It leaks from right here. That's where it was dripping. Yep. In fact, you can see a clean spot right there where it drips. It's my trusty Jeep tool, also known as a dish pan, because that's how bad it is. So we're gonna just kind of gently run the, we're not gonna flood the cowl vent, but we're gonna just kind of sprinkle it in there like it's raining and see what happens. We're also gonna be uh, checking where the uh, windshield folds down right here, see if this is leaking. And finally, we'll check this seal up here. Just like that. Yeah, it's just going right through the tube. Well, so far, that is perfectly dry. Cal vent drain seems to be working just fine. Uh, and we'll move on to the next step. We're moving on to try to just hit that bottom seam. It's like a typhoon. Yeah, Jason's getting it all over both, both seals, but I guess that's okay. Like, here comes a fresh stream, like like coming down my fingers and then it kind of like slacked off a little bit so That's, maybe it's coming from here wherever you were spraying I don't know. right here yeah we have some leakage passenger side but it floods on both sides randomly I did hit the cowl vent a little bit more before I started doing this seam. So I wonder if like you said, the vent like was starting to fill up before it started to leak. So I'll just keep hitting this seam for a bit and tell me if it gets any worse. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's like flowing in here. And it's coming out of the bottom of the vent here. You saying it's flowing in? Yep. Yeah, so it's coming in there. So right now we suspect it's coming in the seam right along here. He's missing the gasket that goes to the hood right there, which we didn't really suspect because we thought it was just an engine compartment, but... Going in the firewall. Right? So I guess the question is, why would it get inside of the cab from leaking down that seam? It's coming around and it's like going in up there maybe, or there. 
Boy, it looks highly suspicious right now, which is odd. Why do you guys think it's it's leaking there? Now it's just falling all over the gap, you know, valve cover. Yeah, okay, so I'm not running it on the hood. So yeah, it just it just spills right over that lip, huh? Uh-huh. Because I don't even have the flow going very high, and it's still falling over that lip, huh? Yep. It's hard to say really what rain would do, but from the looks of it, it's just flowing in there. So that should be the number one thing to do is get that seal replaced. So he had removed that seal along there when he painted his Jeep. Didn't it turn out good? So he does have that seal. He needs to still put it back in. Um, didn't really think it was related to that, but lo and behold, there it was. Weird. We took a seal out and it leaks. Yeah, but it's the seal to the engine compartment from the hood, like getting in the cab. But I don't know, I guess it's running down the, the firewall on the inside there and leaking. So that'll be the first step. It's supposed to rain this weekend. So I guess the super curious part is, you know, we'll put that seal back on, but then how's it flowing to the dash leaking on the uh, floorboard? But, you know, I guess it's happening. We're still not totally convinced that it's not, you know, the cow vent or one of these other seals, one of these other gaskets up here. So he's gonna throw that seal back in and we'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching, have a good day.